Hey guys, uh, welcome to Goodly's uh, video on uh, uh, repeat last action in PowerPoint. Uh, what we're going to discuss in this video is uh, uh, a lot of times you have uh, the need to perform an action in PowerPoint multiple number of times. So what I mean to say is that, uh, let's say, uh, for example, you have an object. Uh, maybe a circle and you want to copy the circle multiple number of times over on the right on this slide so what you generally end up doing is uh, probably using the control C for copy and then you paste it using control V and then you probably do it let's say five times if you want to copy the circle five times on the slide and that's how you do it so you do control V uh, five times so that's it and then you manually kind of arrange all these all these circles uh, uh, on the slide and you don't even know that uh, you know uh, are they properly aligned on the top uh, is the distance between the circles uh, equal so you have innumerable problems like these and you end up working a lot with the mouse to uh, organize this uh, you know kind of uh, art uh, in your powerpoint slide so what I'm going to show you is uh, a cool way um, to repeat your last action without um, you know all of this hassle of con copying and pasting over and over again, and then you know kind of uh, using the mouse to arrange this uh, you know uh, in coherence with the other circles. So let's just get rid of uh, you know the the mess on the slide. So I'm just going to draw another object. So let's say I'm going to draw, draw a circle again. Uh, a smaller one and place it here now what I have to do is let's say I have to make seven copies of this circle um, on the right hand side of the slide okay so uh, one video prior I taught you how to copy using the control uh, keyboard shortcut so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control key on the keypad and the left key of my mouse drag this to the right uh, at an appropriate distance that I find is okay maybe this is the distance that I find is okay and I will leave the mouse click first and then leave the control key on the keypad and this will be copied now as the slide title suggests that this is uh, how do you actually repeat the last action so what was my last action my last action was uh, copying and pasting a circle at certain distance so all I have to do is uh, without doing anything uh, after copying and pasting the circle the first circle I just have to press the F4 key on the keyboard so I will just press it once again and you see that the other circle pops up and then you see the other circle pops up I'm pressing it again and you see the other circle pops up so I already have uh, five circles I just have to press two more times so I have seven circles at equal distance and which are aligned uh, equally from the top so uh, this uh, the F4 key is actually uh, a repeat action key uh, which uh, you can use uh, not only in PowerPoint but also in Excel as well as in Word and uh, the good thing about this key is that it also works uh, not only with the circles uh, I mean to say object but it also works with uh, the PowerPoint and uh, the other good thing about uh, this this F O key is uh, that uh, it uh, works uh, also with any kind of object. So uh, I may also have, let's say, uh, a text. So uh, I'm just going to write, okay, my name is James Bond. Well, that's not my name. I'm just writing that. Uh, so that's it. So uh, let's say I want to copy this five times over to the bottom. So uh, I'm going to hold the control key and the left click of my mouse, pull it down and uh, you know at, at an appropriate distance whatever I think is okay. I will drop it and I will make sure that I leave the mouse click first and then the control key on the keypad and then I am just going to press F4 key to copy it as many number of times as I want. So it works with the text, it works with the uh, charts, it works with the uh, uh, objects. It works with n number of things and it also works in Excel and it works in PowerPoint, it works in uh, Word. So now 
until now what we have seen is we have seen the examples of last action being repeated for a copy command so what I'm going to show you is that uh, the last action uh, for any other thing that you do apart from copying in Excel does that work too or not so I'm going to select this text and I'm going to make it let's say um, red okay so now the last action that I did in PowerPoint was to make it red now if F4 is the key to repeat the last action ideally it should also color anything which is a text in red so if I select this thing and I just press the F4 key and it turns red I select this it turns red I select all of this together and I press the F4 key it turns red so technically you can use the F4 key for, for anything uh, doing any last action that you've done in PowerPoint key in PowerPoint applications so sorry well that's it uh, uh, it's a very useful application I hope uh, it makes uh, work simpler for you in PowerPoint thanks for watching this video and take care